hey guys what's up today i'm gonna work on a chevy malibu this is a 2017 but once your chevy malibu look like this it's gonna be the same procedure and fixing this part right here and as you know this these cars they give a lot of trouble with this problem that i'm gonna show you right now So you, you, you lose your brakes because of vacuum. You're gonna have a code that say you lost, um, you, your brake pedal are gonna feel hard. And you're gonna have a code for um, no um, vacuum in the, vacuum leak in the brake booster and all that. This car have a vacuum pump, which goes to the side of the engine right here. So this right here is your vacuum pump and um what i did what you can do once your brake pedal is hard and your engine is running you can come ahead and take this off right here but how you do that you would um squeeze these two part right here so you're going to squeeze them in and then pull up on it and that will take off the vacuum line that goes from the vacuum pump to the brake booster so once that once you take that off with the engine running you should be able to put your finger right here and you should um feel your feel the vacuum on your finger you should feel your finger getting sucked in but that's not happening and we're gonna get to the bottom of that and you also give a code let me see if i can find a code on my phone because let me see let me see let's see so we're going to need to take off the engine cover and we're going to need to take off take out the battery also and to get room to work down there we're going to need to remove this um intake hose right here for a little bit and then once that is removed then we're good so this is their let me see if I can see it. So the code is have is C0299. And it's a brake booster large vacuum leak detected. And they have not, and they have another code for that's just for the um because I disconnect the battery, but once you drive it, the second code will go away. Alright, so first thing first, let's start by taking out the battery. I have everything all loose already, so you guys just gonna follow along this is gonna be 10 millimeter right here 10 millimeter right here which you guys should know how to take out the battery if you don't i have a video of me changing the battery so you can use that as a reference to take out the battery so once you remove all those 10 millimeter you want to put your bolts somewhere safe so i always put my bolt right here you can pop these cap off like this Put them somewhere safe remove this cap also and now we're gonna have our 10 millimeter right here so once you remove that 10 millimeter you just want to go ahead and take off the terminal put it somewhere where it don't go back to the terminal don't go back to the negative terminal then you remove this 10 millimeter right here from your positive take that off and look up on this um, cover the battery heat shield or cover whichever way you want to call it you have right here is your battery holder this is 13 millimeter link will be in the description for all the tools you need so 13 millimeter and 10 millimeter so far go ahead and lift your battery out so now your battery is out the next step is to take off your engine cover. This is a torque screw. I think it's, um, let me double check and get back to you. So to remove your engine cover, it's gonna be a T, T30 torque. Link will be in the description for that as well. 
for those who don't know what a torque is this is what it is that's what it looked like and it used a t30 so we're going to remove that and we also want to remove the cap you can just put it right there take this off right here you can put this back right here you can put, leave the screw right here just to keep it safe so you don't lose it so that's a good idea and this we can take this off or we can leave it because we working we're trying to get space right here which doesn't seem like it's affecting this right here so um this right here we're gonna need a flathead screwdriver pull this clip all the way back and lift this up all right so let's get a flathead screwdriver got a flathead screwdriver this is your your intake so we want to remove it from the trapped body once that's good you can go ahead push that back in leave that like that come around here you're gonna have this right here that's bracket this bracket that goes from here to here on the intake so we're gonna unscrew it it's gonna be 10 millimeter to do so go ahead and now you can move it out the way So I think these torques should be T25, but you guys can correct me in the in the description, in the comment section. But I will leave a tool for it. I will leave a link for a torque set. So whichever one you will have all the tools. So you just want to remove this. And then we're going to check to see. We're going to check to see all the... um. If we see any problem in there as you guys can tell I already take this apart so you guys know I see something in it but I just want to show you the whole procedure of me going into detail with this job right here because I wasn't gonna do it but then I said you know what let me just do it so I just untighten back everything up all right so that is that is the problem we have right here as you can see that is broken and the reason for that I'll put this right here all right so the reason for this is lack of oil so they probably didn't do their oil change good so that's why it's broken like this because they didn't do their oil change good so the oil turned like grease and sludge and that's what caused it to break because it's, it didn't have enough um, lubrication in it so that's why it caused it to break and that's what caused you to lose vacuum in your brake pedal so as you see this is the problem so with this we should just change the whole vacuum pump so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the the vacuum pump from the from the head all right so it looks like it's holding by one two three bolts and they look to be 13 millimeters so i will go ahead and remove those 13 millimeter to get those to get that off so make sure that's the only thing that's holding it and that's what it looked like so far so let's get into that part of the video all right guys so we have our 30 millimeter just gonna take that loose right there we'll take this one loose also and there's another one down here. Just need to get the socket on it. Alright, we got the socket on it. Taking it loose. 
So that's our three bolts right there. So that's our three bolts right there. So I will cut away and come back when I remove all those three bolts so you guys don't get bored and the video don't be long. Alright, so we have our flathead screwdriver. We're just going to work it around here just to get it out like that. And you can see right here is also broken too. Let me just remove what I've left over there. And this side look broken as well. There is a gasket that's holding it. So go ahead, put that gasket off. As you can see, this side is damaged also. So this is what happens when you don't change your oil like you're supposed to on a and a Chevy Malibu like this and it's also poor design from the dealer also so I don't know if this gonna cause the engine to go bad because that part that's broken is obviously gonna be inside the engine So the part that's broken is inside the engine. So now we probably have to take the I'm gonna see if I can get everything out from here because I can see all the pieces from right here. If not, we're probably just gonna have to take off the valve cover gasket and get down into removing all the pieces from there. All right, so if you guys are more luckier than me, where um, this part didn't break as yet, you can go ahead and clean this part and replace that part. I just replace the whole complete, um, the whole complete vacuum pump right there, and clean this side of the block real good. You can see this oil right here is all sludged up. I don't know if you can see it right here. But it's a lot of sludge down there. Like right here is all blacked up with sludge. So as I clean it, you can see the oil pouring out. But you guys will just have to clean this real good. Do a motor flush if you will. And um put it back together put back your new parts and that's it for that one you would just go ahead and put it back skip to the part of the video where me putting it back together apart from that if you guys have the same problem like me where this part is damaged real bad then you just have to just take off the valve cover gasket and let's get into it so guys the next step we're gonna do is to take off the valve cover gasket please go ahead and subscribe to the channel help me help you so let me tell you how worse this you know what when I take off the valve cover gasket then I tell you how worse this shit can get um what you want to do is remove everything that's touching the valve cover gasket we need to remove this line from the turbo this is a line for a coolant line so we need to remove this we need to put something underneath the car so that don't get um caught up in the 
so the, the floor don't get wet but once you do that we need to unplug all these plugs this is how you unplug this is your coil pack so you pull this red thing back push it down pull up on it that's how you're gonna unplug that so we need to unplug every wires that's on here this we're just gonna take this off from right here because we don't have because I don't have that the type of special screw this look like you take right here so that look like you take a special screw I don't have that screw so I will be taking it off with this on it I'm just gonna disconnect this pull back this right here pull that same thing for hit this right here you pull back the red thing right here pull this you can lift up on this and that's why you just want to make sure you clear the the head for the um you clear the valve cover gasket all right so let's do that part you're gonna have some grounds wire right here you can remove those also like i said we're taking off everything so let's do it all right guys so this is where we at so far just checking in don't want to board you with the presses but it's really straightforward remove this so you can move the wire this is your 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 um oxygen sensor would normally be right here so i remove it so i can move this right here and then you want to remove this screw right here and remove these right here and then you can back this off right here unplug this from there down there we need to unplug those those um wires for your injector so that's what we're gonna do next and then we're gonna come up with the injectors and leave the bottom part of the injector down in the block so let me put the camera in there so you guys can see so what i'm gonna do now is unplug the injectors So that's gone out the way. Go ahead and lift this up like that. So lift that out the way. And don't turn it over like I just did, because your screw will fall out. Just put it somewhere safe. So let's go ahead and remove the it's gonna be 10 millimeter right around.
just want to make sure Just give it a little tap at the end just to get it lifting up, get it started. Just work your way around it, make sure you take out all the screws. Once you take out all the screws, it should come up. So nothing is holding it. It's just the, uh, it's just the uh, rubber that fuses onto the block, onto the head, I should say. But just do it like this. It should come up. this bracket right here touching the touching it a little bit the the waste gate is also touching it a little bit but we can support we suppose we can work on that Alright, so as you see, these people didn't really change their, their valve cover like that. So I don't want to touch anything in here and cause it to block up some other stuff inside. So I'm just going to remove what we came for, these broken pieces, and make sure I remove all of them. 
So we're just going to take out all of those, all right? So guys, I have I have one laying around. This is what it, look, it should look like. And you should have a little resistance. You should hear that, you hear that? I mean, it's good. And let me get the older one. So this is the older one right here. This clogged up, so no oil get to go inside here to lubricate here. This one you can see you have a strainer there and it's not clogged. Cause I know these cars give a lot of trouble with this part right here so um i saved it and right here should have the the part number should be right right there get it to focus so there you go and This is what this is it. So this is what happens when you don't change your oil. So you need to change your eye your oil guys. Or stop taking your car to shady place and do your oil change by yourself so you know your oil is changed and you put quality oil in it, in your car. So this will happen to you if you don't change your oil or if you don't make sure your oil is changed. And the next worst thing can happen, I take out all of the iron, but you can mess up the cam gear right here because the, the vacuum pump break apart and it's stuck and then this keep on trying to rotate so you, um. You, there's a pin in there and they go into a slot that worn out so it's go back and forth so the car will go like vroom, 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 when when it's idling and it will give a cold for the solenoid the solenoid is good it's doing its job but because of the oil passage worn out from the the sudden stop of the camshaft so and that's what happened we probably need to change this I'm going to put it back together to see if we um, need to change, put it back together and see if it run properly. If it run properly, then we're lucky. If we don't run properly, then we need to change it. So we're just going to leave that like that. And we going to, if we need to change it, I will make another video on that. But I'm going to try to wrap up this video kind of short. So I'm going to put it back together and put that, put this part on and let it run for you guys and see all right guys so the next thing we're gonna do is put these which i already did i put these on um, this is for the, the vacuum pump o-ring so you can get the parts number from there if you want this is for the this is for the um the inner gasket inner camshaft gasket and this is for the outer camshaft gasket so they come in two pieces so if you want the parts number there you go so what the customer decided to do because i show it to her let me show it to you guys also it's a lot of play in the in it right here before the the cam start moving the cam sprocket start moving there's a lot of play right here and there is a little bit over here this one is good this one is good but this one have a lot of play in it so i let the customer know that they would need a sprocket and and how much it's gonna cost and the time it's gonna take <clears throat> and they was like no nah, they want to get rid of the car so i'm just gonna put new gasket because i don't want it to leak and put a new vacuum pump and also clean down here so make sure you clean right here so you don't sludge up the new parts but i'm gonna put new gasket and as you see here is already clean i have the gasket i cleaned the gap the valve cover gas um the valve cover already 
so the next step is to just put the valve cover back on clean that part do a oil change on it and give the customer back the car so they can do whatever they want to go do with it so that's it for this video well not that's it i'm gonna put it back together so you guys know how to change your valve cover gasket and how to change your vacuum pump all right so guys um i was had the gopro painting down to the car i thought i was recording but it turns out that i'm not that i wasn't but what I did is put the the um the valve cover on and then I tighten it down. You wanna start from boom 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 boom. You wanna go across across the way like that. So you can start from in the middle like this one, this one, this one, this one. Then you come on here, this one, this one, this one, this one, then you go here, this one, this one, this one, no, this one, this one, this one, this one so that's basically you want to start from the middle and tighten out towards the end so that's how you want to do it and after you do that you can go ahead and put in your your um your fuel rail with your injectors so put in your fuel rail so that's good after you put in your fuel rail tighten that down go ahead and put in your sparks plug your, your, coil, your coil pack I should say, your ignition coil, connect those, tighten them down and also you can go ahead and put in this stuff too, try to root it underneath alright so that's done, go ahead because all these are tightened up already, you can go ahead and lock these, lock back your sensor in So I thought it was recording but it wasn't all right so once that's done you want to put back these also put in your um your oxygen sensor right here go ahead connect it right here that's done put this on put that in so that's everything looking good so far almost finished so this right here is for the engine cover so that's gonna go on later down in the video just double check your work at this point make sure everything is tight and you don't leave nothing loose so we want to get our pump right here i have the pump right here the vacuum pump is it vacuum pump since it suck and don't pump any any air I guess it's, you can say vacuum pump and install it install it the way you take it out you might you want these right here so you want this right here to line up with the with that inside this opening right here so you just want to eyeball it make sure it's set in the correct level once it is is at the correct level you can go ahead and put it in and tighten them up so let's do that first so let's eyeball it make sure it's gonna go all the way in so I, just like that nothing different what you see me just did so once it go in flush you know that's good. We're gonna go ahead and catch our our 330 millimeter. So I have them right here. All right, so that fall down, but that's cool. We can go get it. So let's get another bolt, lock it into place first. All right, so that's it. We're gonna catch all three bolts right now. And that's about it for this part. 
all right guys so the next step is to um to put on the intake because i put this on already as you guys can see i can go ahead and snatch this snap that in right there go ahead and push this down once you push it down and the clamp is in it will it will just um lock in place go ahead catch her a 10 millimeter right there that's what you take right here just a regular 10 millimeter go ahead wind that down and the next step is to put your battery in but before we put our battery in we want to cover the engine also so we can go ahead and put our dipstick in cover up the engine and we can go from there so this is where I'm at so far guys one more go over the engine make sure everything is good and put this back in that is done you can remove this screw right here and tighten up that screw and the next step will be our battery to go in so guys we are finished with the car as you can see everything is back together time to give it back to the customer um, put this on put my battery on crank the car up already and um that's it so if you guys want to change your valve cover gasket you would know how to change it from this video if you want to change your vacuum pump which is right here you will also know how to change it from this video also even though i didn't get to change the um the the cam shaft because the customer didn't want to do that they want to get rid of the car they don't want it no more they don't think it worth fixing so it's their car they know what they want to do with their car so i can't fight them on that so that's it for this video guys gonna go ahead and crank the car but when you do that once you change the valve cover gasket the car not gonna go ahead and crank up as it's supposed to and you have the check engine light on as you can see right there i already read the codes those codes are for um the camshaft sensor the camshaft sensor that's what they're gonna say but it's not the camshaft sensor it is the cam because the cam is um the cam it had too much play on it so that's why the cam gear have too much play on it so that's why the um that light is on so that's it for this video guys please go ahead subscribe to the channel help me help you let's grow this channel let's reach 50,000 at the end of the year all right peace out guys see you next time